Hi, this is 2015 G Wagon and with 4.5 NTG systems. So, first you need to make sure if your vehicle comes with fiber optic, this is the fiber optic. And usually it's located on the first slot on the right top corner. You will need to remove this from the original plug and put it into the Android power harness on the male square connector. This is the factory harness. And on the Android power harness, you also need to make sure all this small white plug. So you should have NTG 4.0 slash 4.5 you will need to connect this to NTG 4.5 and the other one will be NTG 4.0 connect to the jumper plug NTG 4.0 and once you use that and you have one jumper plug left which is NTG 4.5 you will need to make sure this combination is correct and also the harness come with uh, black audio filter so you will need to test it to see if you have any noise if you have noise then you can try to remove this if you don't have noise then you can keep this inside if you don't have any sound from the Android system make sure open it make sure the connector inside is fully connected nothing is loose if it's loose then you just need to push in and check the sound again this is to control the audio from the Android systems and this is the factory radio connected fully locked in not halfway this is how it looks like and sit on the factory radio into the back of the Android screen this is how it fits in you will need to apply a little bit pressure from the top uh, and lock it into the factory bracket it's a little bit hard for you to lock the screen on the factory bracket but you need to be a patient and after you lock in it will show like this and this is the 10.25 we are doing so right now we have the vehicle on ignition and we test the functions so when you have the vehicle in on ignitions wait for the android system turn on you also can do press and hold the back buttons on the factory controller to go back to the mercedes systems and this is the resolution to show the factory system on the Android screen make sure the aux is selected and you also can operate with the uh, factory knob controller so we're gonna test the features on the Android system first we will need to test the backup camera so for the backup camera we shift the car to reverse if it shows no signal then you will need to go to park and then after that go to setting and we go to systems in the systems camera selections select OEM camera after that try to shift to reverse again and this is how the factory camera shows on the Android screen after the camera we will need to check the audio from the Android systems so right now we are doing the CarPlay but first you can check the music from the Android system this is the second
action step to check the audio factory camera and the resolution from the Mercedes show, show on the Android screen if it doesn't show correctly then you will need to go to setting factory enter the code 190627 enter and you go to the car display on the left hand side select the NTG 4.0 slash 4.5 it shows the name of the 13 to 15 so it's either one as you can see one is half half so there will be two resolution that you need to try which is the 11 and 13 11 and 13 will show on full screen 12 and 14 will show on half screen if you scroll down it will mention the other year the other resolution from 08 to 10 the same thing that you will have two options one is full screen one is half screen and also come with two different type of resolution which is 15 or 17 so this is how you need to adjust it so let's say if we select the wrong one go with the half screen and once you go back it will show the picture not on the right positions so once you have this and go back and enter the code again and you go to the card display and now we show you the full screen how it looks like with the correct resolution so once you have this this is how it shows on the Android screen on full if you don't like it then you can select the half screen so by shift to reverse this is the way to show the backup camera on full screen if you don't like it then you can go back and select the half screen okay so then we go through all the default setup one by one which is the one that we are showing you right now DVR is the one that for USB connection Bluetooth selection you, you will need to select Android Bluetooth if you select OEM Bluetooth it will go back to the OEM Bluetooth page amplifier OEM amplifier 360 camera this is for aftermarket automatic brightness with the lamp control it means when you have the headlight turned on the the brightness on the android screen will dim down unit selection is for matrix is for kilometers imperial is for miles ahd camera selections usually we select automatic front view mirror setting you don't need to check mark that and this is the most important vehicle if you have the check on car without OEM screen then once you click on the car info on the Android main menu it will show the clock but because you have the factory screen so make sure this is unchecked aux switching mode select menu aux auto switching other knob tie don't change it knob A driver seat left right default on left number of door default on 4 speed default on 260 gear selection gear 1 map key selections we default to car navy mode key selection enable FL speaker enable enable speed type 1 voice key not used phone key selection android bluetooth features control panel close control panel is only for mercedes s class not for the other please make a note of that steering wheel track selection no need to select make it all as default aux activate not for this car if you have ami you don't need to use if you don't have AMI and aux jack 
on your vehicle and you don't have aux function list out on the audio list from the Mercedes system, then you can try to use the aux activate functions. Air conditioner, it means when you turn the climate control on, it shows on the Android. When you turn it off, it shows close. You can have this check or uncheck. Car display, we already go through it. Can protocol, do not change this. If the car is 4.0, select 4.0. If it's 4.5, then select 4.5. My gain is the sensitivity of the microphone. From zero is the lower sensitivity, up to 20. Normally, we set it up from A to 15. It depends on how you use the internal microphone or adding the external mic. If you add external mic, then you can reduce the sensitivity a little bit lower, which is from 5 to 8. Reverse existing time, you don't need to change that. UI configurations, it is mean the theme can change for the Android systems. And we preload a few of the uh, theme for the Android system as well. After all this change, you will need to go to Profile Import, click on Restart to apply the change. Boot logo, this is the standard logo, and this is another logo import to the Android systems. Other than that, if the sound is good, reverse showing on the Android system, cam protocol is selected right, connection on the small wide connector are good, you have sound, you have backup camera show on the screen, and you have good resolution show on the Android screen. Everything is all set and good to go. The only thing you need to make sure every time you need to go to AUX, make sure you are on AUX, then switch to the Android systems. Another way, another tips for you is to press and hold the back button beside the knob to switch back and forth from the Android to the Mercedes, from the Mercedes to the Android. By press and hold the back button for three to five seconds to get it switched. If you have any other question, you can send us an email to tech at 4x4shop.ca. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.